I will be forever the myth. You're the king of kings, <laughs> There's always a pecking order. The little peckers never mess with the big peckers. So I'm a rooster, and he's a chicken for the week. It seems like Nick Walker is one of the most exciting guys. It seems like a lot of fans are getting behind him. I don't know what it is about him. Maybe it's because he's young, uh, got that freaky physique. He's like a mutant. But um, he seems like he's got that right attitude. He's very, very disciplined and focused and uh, even a little very, very confident. He says he's going to win the Olympia 10 times, you know. <laughs> well, that's that's his greatest asset is he's a, he's a lovable little kid. Yeah, you yeah, right. right. Seven year old, you know, yeah, right. <laughs> the faces he makes, the dumb shit he says. Right. You know, right. Squirt king, ass man. Like, <laughs> right. Nick, you're not supposed to be saying that shit. He's like, why not? Yeah, right. He's so naive and so, right. Right. you know, no. you just love yeah. him. You want to pinch his cheeks, you know? <laughs> right. He's literally, what? what is he, 25, 26? Like, 26, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, and he acts like he's 11. Like, you know? <laughs> so you, you can't help but love the kid. Right, right. Yeah. And he, you know what? Everything he says has happened. Yeah. He has predicted his trajectory 100%. And that's not by accident. So well, that's why it's, it's not inconceivable to see him winning the Arnold. No, it's not. It's yeah. not at all. You know, I've said it. He's one of the most exciting. I, I, that's why I called him an outlier. He can, yeah. he can play seventh, or he could win. Yeah, I don't know until he's standing there next to him. I ha I'm leaning more towards he's going to dwarf everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like legit twenty five inch arms. Like I know, I know. Like come on, in in he's so big and so conditioned that he. I don't see anyone. Like he would have to really be off, and yeah. I, I think he's going to be better than he was in New York. Yeah, he made a believer out of me in New York. I went to that show because it was here in Tampa, and yeah. uh, man, I was really, really impressed. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone else looks like that. Yeah. You no, know? you, you. When he comes out, you do this. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Am I yeah. seeing what I'm seeing? He is a mutant. And what really impressed me, Jose, was he just seemed so ready. You could tell that guy practice his posing, practice it. He came out, he was ready, man. He was just yeah. every pose was spot on. He did, he knew exactly what he was doing. You could tell he did hours and hours, weeks and weeks of practice. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, you can uh, for all the shit that Matt Jansen gets, he spends a lot of time with Nick, and he puts whatever he's done with him. He has been successful with him, uh, and, and he has he plays a big role in Nick's success mm -hmm. for sure. And Nick believes in him, and he believes in Nick, and they have a, a great working relationship that is working. So um, I will give. I don't often give Matt Jansen a lot of props, mm -hmm. uh, but I do in this case because he's he's mentored him to it to a certain degree and uh and um i think it plays a big role you know? yeah and you got to believe in the person that is coaching you and nick does and, and you know they do all the posing they do all the, the training and, and you know matt is there with them quite a bit yeah you know? yeah um, he's not just the online here eat this do that um he's there with them in the trenches and that's important yeah. Yeah. He's got another, he's another guy who's got a great support system behind him and he's totally believes he can be successful. So that, that plays a huge part. Of course, of course. Anytime he has a doubt, you know, that support system reminds him who the hell he is. Yeah. Yeah. He is the real deal. Yeah. He can beat any one of these guys. He really can. <laughs>